Miami Dolphins head across the map week one, taking on the LA Chargers. The game is loaded with elite matchups. No wasting time. Justin Herbert, from the Dairy Queen on Coburg Road to the highest paid QB in the game, he's top tier. Most passing yards in NFL history, first three years of a career. To the end zone, touchdown Chargers! I don't know if he worked at the DQ, but Miami counters with Tua when he's on the field. Offense and the team were as tough to slow as any in the NFL last season. Back to throw, looking right Got side, it. wide open, touchdown Tyreek Hill! Miami has the lead. Keeping him upright and not letting him take any major hits, a priority in South Beach this year, and especially this week. Dolphins tackles Teron Armstead and Austin Jackson are going to be pressed all game long. On one side, it's Khalil Mack. He was an eight-bagger in 2022. Looks middle of the field. He's in drop. Khalil Mack with the sack. Khalil's first sack in powder blue. On the other, Joey Bosa, who got hurt early in the year, so we never really got to see what the duo might be capable of long term. Third and eight, and that's a sack put up by the Chargers, Joey Bosa. Herbert's tackles also getting tested from the start. Rayshon Slater and Trey Pipkins will get a healthy scoop of Bradley Chubb had eight QB takedowns in 2022. Purdy in trouble. And <laughs> it's going to bump down by Bradley Chubb, but careful with that ball. And Jalen Phillips had seven. The trench warfare in this contest is going to be intense. Backside pressure oh, comes. He's oh. hitting the ball. Is out. Miami's got it. Of course. Jalen Phillips with the strip sack and the Dolphins recover. Herbert will lean on mostly the same pass catchers. Keenan Allen is the centerpiece to it all. Didn't go for a thousand yards because he got hurt. Bolt up will tell you when he's on the field, Herbert's at his best. Throws on the run. Down on the sideline, caught in the end zone, <laughs> Keenan Allen for the touchdown. Mike Williams is Stretch Armstrong in multiple ways, stretches the field, strong arms cornerbacks. Don't believe he has that weird goo inside though. Looking for Mike Williams, one-handed grab. Touchdown, Chargers! What a catch! Joshua Palmer will be out there. Sneaky good receiver, 700 plus yards in 2022. Going deep, downfield for Joshua Palmer! Got it! Touchdown, Chargers! And it's the first regular season game for first rounder Quentin Johnston, so Miami has to go four cornerbacks deep. Stick, end zone, Johnston, touchdown! Xavier Howard, there's one. He comes off a Pro Bowl year for the Finns. Loads it up long and, oh, it's Howard who makes the beautiful over-the-shoulder interception. Cater Kohu was supposed to be the overlooked CB3 behind X and Jalen. Truth is, he outplayed both of them last year as a rookie. If his play doesn't drop off, he won't be overlooked anymore. Looks long, lets it go for Lazard. It's picked off. Cater Kohu. Miami picked up Eli Apple, held QBs to a sub-90 rating, so even with no Ramsey, they're pretty deep. And Eli Apple, the veteran who was picked up after the Ramsey injury, made the tackle. Dolphins linebackers Jerome Baker, David Long, safeties Brandon Jones, and Javon Holland will all be tested heavily this week in the passing game as well. Herbert has Gerald Everett at tight end, 500-plus yard dude last year. But it's good! It's good! Herbert! to Gerald Everett. And then there's Austin Eckler. Aren't many backs in the game better at catching footballs. He caught more than 100 of them last season. He is into the pylon. Touchdown, Chargers. Miami also can't ignore Eckler when he does take the ball via handoff. Four and a half a run last year, 900 plus rushing yards, 13 TDs. Handoff to Eckler. He is hit in the hole, spins forward. And look at Eckler! Miami defensive tackle Zach Sealer, 70 tackle big boy. And defensive tackle Christian Wilkins, who needs to brush up on his long drive skills if he wants to make the Pro Bowl this year. Having an amazing year of football isn't enough. Do. Dolphins running game also takes a back seat when they have the ball. Chargers secondary is on notice in this game. Here comes the cheetah and the penguin. Tyreek Hill, bunch of spectacular numbers last year, and he's fast. Hey, y'all boy look good up front. I ain't gonna count, boy. Let's start with y'all, dog. Jalen Waddle, also a bunch of great numbers, also fast. Two are looking, looking. There he goes. A touchdown, Waddle. Tua sprinkles in passes to others, sharing is caring, I guess, but the Chargers know the focus has to stay on the dynamic duo. No nice guy. No nice guy. All 
game. Mentality. LA's Derwin James was excellent against the pass last year. He's top of the mound safety material. And they bring it. Here comes Derwin. Russell Wilson sack. Derwin got him. Why taking his ass out of the club? Bro, you see how lifted his ass up? He say, well, I hear him, he say, damn. He's got to help cornerbacks Michael Davis and Asante Samuel. Samuel took on lots of number ones last year, kind of dude that would call to cover Tyree. Deep pass, looking at him, in the goal line, intercepted, Asante Samuel Jr. Dolphins run game in very good hands. LA's defense will have to try and slow Jeff Wilson and Raheem Mostert. Room to the 10, the 5, touchdown! But the Chargers' biggest defensive weakness was against rushers, so can't sleep on Mostert and Wilson. Chargers have a new inside linebacker they hope makes a difference, Eric Kendricks' first game with the Bolts. And that's Eric Kendricks. They dial up the pressure, and they get to Matt Ryan. Game preview guy back again. Still can't get this bag off. It's okay, though. I'd rather be a talking bag than a talking head. There's plenty of those out there already. And plenty of you who know your job is to complete the preview with your takes, keys, and predictions. And time Time for another NFL season, LGF. The panel, by the way, NFL Network folk, Colleen Wolf, MJD, Adam Rank, Marcus Grant, NFL.com writers Kevin Patra, Grant Gordon, Eric Edelm, Nick Shook, Mark Sessler. Eventually those little dashes will show who's doing best.